you broke the record. But maybe you should come down now. Come down, Kevin. It's not safe. No! Is he dead? What are we going to do? That's right, folks, it's time for another Phantasmit. This one's actually the ninth in the series. Insidious Dreams. Maybe spooky. I, You know, like, typically the Hopa games aren't, like, ridiculously scary. But sometimes they have a, you know, a little psychological thrill in there. So I enjoy the spooky ones. I'm sharing this with all you folks that are watching live and I'm waving at you. Hello everyone, welcome back. We're gonna dive right into this one here. I like the, like the, uh, I don't know what you call it, like the scratching here. Looks like somebody used like their nail or whatever to scratch all the... Oh, look at how they bounce around too, that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's play this game. We've got a rainy day. I don't know what... I guess the fog is different? That's interesting. Layer levels of fog. Easy, medium, hard, and custom. It's all about that fog. Indeed, I uh, did take some time off from uh, YouTube and such, but uh, I'm back now. We're going to be diving right back into this for the busy fall season. Video games are going to be all over the place this fall. Leading up to Christmas, of course. This is a special weather alert. A strong thunderstorm with heavy rain will affect portions of central and west Illinois. Please drive careful. Mr. White? Yeah, that's me, Mr. White. I'm afraid your wife suffered a severe concussion. It caused some memory loss. We'd like you to take her somewhere peaceful, so she can rest. I... I will. We have a farmhouse. I'll take care of her there. Would you like some interactive help? Why, yes, thank you. Special features would be lovely. Uh, all right, so... Hi there. Feeling better? Uh, the doctor said you have amnesia. So you need to rest, so I brought you to the farmhouse. So do I know you? I don't know if I know you yet. I know you're tired, but we need to secure the windows before you go back to bed. This is going to be the worst storm we've had in years. I'm not sure the windows would hold up. I'll go outside and feed the dogs before I lock them up. Now, if you have a raincoat that is so thin that you can actually see the clothing underneath, how well is that going to be at keeping him dry or whatever? <laughs> yes, uh, this time of year is definitely my allergy season. Uh, it hits me pretty hard, but um, you know what? I usually just uh, medicate with uh, over-the-counter stuff, just to kind of get through day by day. It's like a poncho, yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm already digging the art style. This looks pretty awesome. Every location in the game contains a hidden doll. The indicator in the lower right corner shows how many you found. All right, folks, this is where I need your help, need your help, need your help. If you do spot our little dolly, just shout it out. I don't consider that a spoiler. I consider that help. There we go. We're going to go ahead and collect the 35 dollies. The, gra the graphics look neat. I love that kind of dirty, like, like rusty, dirty art style. It's pretty cool. 
Alright, I think we should take care of this flappy window here, or shutters, whatever. Those dogs sound vicious. Okay, well let's maybe avoid those dolls. I need to tie the shutters together with something. I really should secure the window. My stuff's in that suitcase. Okay, bam! Already into the puzzle. Good grief. Uh, place each slider on its corresponding disc. Oh, man. Okay, well, that's not good. Oh, we gotta uh, do this. That's interesting. I guess... Man, that dog outside, or dogs, are barking up a storm. Okay, now we need that piece. Well, this is not too bad. Put that piece of the animal skull there. Spider skulls? And hands. Around, around we go. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It would that poncho would keep him dry, just not warm. I, I hear ya. Let's do this. Boom! Puzzle done. We have solved the mini game without skipping. Nice flats in here. Random rose button. The wind has slammed the door shut. Maybe I could try to pry it open. We have a pinball launcher and a belt. I think the belt might actually help with the window here. There we go. That should hold on nicely. Now to close the window. Phew, a little quieter. Wait, is this my hair? What is this here? Oh my gosh, that was our hair. Wait a minute, what's with the little boy? It's a ghost boy. Okay, all right, let me pause for a second. We had hair in our face. I don't think I've ever seen that in a Hopa game. We had to like clear the hair out of our face. <laughs> Woo! Ah, uh, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get my plus item here. And our rose button. <laughs> Did I have a sneeze attack? Oh my gosh, we are such a redhead. This is from our wedding. We look so happy. I wish I could remember it. Thank you for making me the happiest man in the world. Love, Stan. May 29th, 2015. Oh, they're still in their honeymoon phase. Hello there. This is my Illinois ID document. Ashley White, date of birth. So, she was married when she was 37. Cool, cool. Never too late to get married. Pinball launcher. No. Antique coin. It's gonna totally be a screwdriver. Boom, boom, boom. We got a little bit of a glitter. Why would we keep empty frames on the wall? That's just strange. You can play a match three. Let's go ahead and do our Epix match three. Uh, one thing I do like about the Epix match three is uh, they always have like unique items. I think it's pretty cool. Like this is definitely a... Uh, you know, got your pumpkins and your scythes and your corns. That's pretty cool. Uh, the objective of this particular match three is to get the ease to the very bottom. And then boom, you get a match. I don't, oh, I think the pumpkin, or when they're all lit like that, they have extra bonus powers. So there you go, that's, that's the match three, it's pretty cool. If you like match three and prefer to do that. I always find it nice to have that option so you don't have to hint. 
get that last one if that's important to you. Looks like we need a couple ties. Oh yes, I do believe there is going to be a morphing object. So we're going to have to keep our eyes peeled for a morphing object. I think it would be neat if it was actually the butterfly changing into a caterpillar. That would be cool. Born on the cob? Nope. And boots, please. Okay, so we have one more umbrella. Hello, hello, Dark Obi. Good to see you again. What's new in the zoo? I don't know. I, I guess what's new is I've, I've kicked off a new project. And I'm going to be traveling a lot to Calgary. Hello, Sarah. Welcome back. Good to see you again. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot of travel to Calgary. You folks that aren't familiar with that, it's a city in Western Canada. There's, uh, it's... All right, where's this morphing object? I'm gonna have to randomly click on stuff now. Mm-hmm. Actually, I don't even know where the umbrella is. Oh, there's the umbrella right there. Bedroom! Oh, I see that goes back to the bedroom. It has been a while since... Did I actually get it? I, I'm really, uh... Oh, there's a poncho. I bet you we need that poncho. Uh, no, I did not uh, pick up uh, Destiny 2. I have a hard time uh, paying $80 for a game. Where are my clothes? None of this stuff seems to belong to me. Well, maybe the morphing object's in here somewhere. Morphing object. Hey there. Some hidden object scenes have morphing objects. Okay, not bad. A Buddha. I'm gonna rub the belly of the Buddha. I'm not sure I like this, like, crazy farmhouse that we've been put here, and we've got amnesia. Uh, there's something glitchy with YouTube right now, so no, uh, it is not working right now. Jen Davis, that's interesting. Look at this old sweater. It looks like the moths got to it, or animals. And it doesn't have our name on it. Our name was Ashley, if you remember. Jen Davis, that name doesn't ring a bell. And what's this uniform doing here? Broken ski. I now have myself a broken ski. Why do I need a broken ski? Pry open the door, it looks like. Let's get out of here. We're going to the hallway. This place is, uh... Stands boarding up the window. That must really be a bad storm. Okay, so we have a creepy looking dolly here just sitting here. What the heck is up with that? Um, it's a ventriloquist doll. It looks like part of it is missing. And there is our collectible right there. I know that totally should have been a crowbar doing that kind of work. This must be Stan's family, but the photo is damaged. I can't make out the faces. Hmm. What a strange frame. It is a strange frame. What is going on here? I bet I could remove the antler if I had the right tool. Maybe that's a crowbar. Um, yeah, that's weird. And why does this doll have red hair? I could cut the net with something sharp. Let's see here. I think the wooden tokens belong here. We don't have any wooden tokens. Yes, indeed. I was at Fan Expo Canada a couple weekends ago. 
That was a lot of fun, actually. Something's stuck in the keyhole, but I can't get it out using my fingers. Electrical tape? No. Hmm. Can we leave? Yes, we can. Main hall. Yeah, Fan Expo is kind of like a Comic-Con, but more than comics. Because it had, like, well, it had comics and it had TV.